Today is a very exciting day to be a Star Wars fan as the official marketing of The Rise of Skywalker by Disney and Lucasfilm has actually started on, of course, this day, which marks one month until the release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, before we get the release of the full international trailer, also known as Trailer 4 of Episode 9, we are going to be getting a series of TV spots before and after the international trailer. Today, we got the first official TV spot of The Rise of Skywalker that gives us a series of new shots related to Rey, Kylo Ren, and more that's going to really give us glimpses of the first, second, and third acts of the movie. So, let's jump right into it. It's a 30-second TV spot, but it does does have a lot of juicy new shots in the actual footage that gives us a better sense and idea of what's going on here. So it starts off with the Lucasfilm logo and we go over to the world of Kajimi where we are now based within the droid factory on Kajimi. By the way, this is where C-3PO is actually said to go through a major transition as we went over in some of the other spoilers and the leaks before in the past. And this is the moment. This is the big moment in which we have of course, brand new footage here, where we have Darth Vader's melted helmet. But here's the catch. What's really intriguing about this is that as we go through the shot, guess who's actually witnessing this thing? It's Rey actually looking at Darth Vader's melted helmet. And I kind of like this shot because it actually goes right up close and personal to Darth Vader's melted helmet. You can see all the details, right? You can see all the little tiny segments of the melted helmet and as it turns over to uh, turns over to Rey you actually do see how she's somewhat in a state of shock and awe looking at such a legend a man who ruled the galaxy for decades and that's the remains of his helmet now from the leaks that we actually went over, Rey is actually not really on board of Kylo Ren's new Star Destroyer called the Ravager. Now, by the way, this is Kylo Ren's chambers that she is inside of, and there's a catch that she's really on the world of Kajimi while she's inside of Kylo Ren's Ravager Star Destroyer. So here we have the world of Pasana. This is the new desert world, and this is the victory or the celebration, if you will, for whatever reason of what's going on. As we go through, we've seen this shot before many times. We have a brand new shot of this motorcycle-like vehicle that the First Order Troopers are using. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that might be a jet trooper in the background. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, that could be a jet trooper or maybe even a flame trooper at that. But we do have a brand new vehicle here in the Rise of Skywalker. Again, I'm not quite sure how I feel about this. This feels a little too... I don't know, a little too Earth-like to me. I don't know if those are wheels. Are those wheels? Looks like they're like, almost like... Yeah, it looks like they're wheels there on the Desert World of Pisana. But we'll have to wait and see. Moving on, this does bring me back to the sail barge sequence between Luke, Han, and Lando. Where now it's Rey, Poe, and Finn getting chased by what we just saw. Where they're actually using everything to their own advantage. Any weapons that they have on board of this little sail barge that they're on top of to get rid of them and to pretty much lose them, right? And this brings us to brand new footage as well of Rey on the world of Kajimi with her saber actually ignited. Now, this is actually the new world, Kajimi, and in the background, this is actually a, call to place, a place called the Thieves' Tower, which is where we're going to run into Kerry Russell's character called, of course, uh, well, originally she was actually going to be codenamed Mara, but she's really called uh, Zori Bliss. She has a history with Poe Dameron, and that's all going to be explained in Episode 9 by J.J., and at this point in time, Rey is really on the world of Kajimi, but she's able to actually connect with Kylo Ren, where she experiences exactly what it's like inside of a Star Destroyer just above. Moving through, we have a brand new shot of Kylo Ren's new helmet pieced together once again by the red crystalline adhesive. And it's an interesting shot because we do get to see exactly how that crystalline adhesive actually works. And that's a very nice shot. It's nice to see that Kylo Ren's helmet is back in action in Episode 9. I actually prefer the helmet uh, for a majority of the film. As we go through, we have new footage of Rey on the edge of his Ravager Star Destroyer with Kylo Ren in the background. You got the Millennium Falcon in the distance. 
And this is where Kylo tries to force pull her backward. He's trying to not let her escape. And that's actually what leads us to a Tomb Raider-like moment or something that you would see out of Indiana Jones, where you have Rey jumping across off of the hangar bay of the Star Destroyer onto the Millennium Falcon. Obviously, she's going to make it. And that leads us to a new shot of the space battle of the new Sith Empire. All right, you can see some B-wings, X-wings, Y-wings in the distance there. Very interesting shot. It's actually said that there are over 500 Star Destroyers equipped with Death Star 3 technology. And that leads us to our, my favorite shot, personally, is where we do have, of course, Rey inside of Palpatine's throne room, approaching the actual throne with the spikes, where Palpatine's laughter can be heard in the TV spot, leading us to the moment in which we have a clashing of the lightsabers moment between Rey and Kylo, where she appears angry. It's almost like a parallel of when Anakin is going up against Dooku in Revenge of the Sith. Very interesting shot, I must add. So, anyways guys, drop a comment below, let me know what you think about all this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.